Continuing on with our exploration of thesis and reading, we are going to now go into the details. Overview for this lesson will feel like we're doing writing again, and that's good. So first off, let's take a look at that big triangle, get used to exactly what it means one more time. And then I'll go ahead and overview those big questions, the who, the what, the how, etc. What's the difference between a major detail and a minor detail? And we will begin learning how to annotate just a little bit. So here's our triangle one more time. We've got the topic, we got the thesis, and so now we're going to be concentrating on the major details and the minor details. These are more specific than the thesis, although they always relate back to the thesis. If you remember, the minor details support the major details, and the major details support the thesis. So, what, how do major details and minor details support the thesis? Well, they support the thesis by answering important questions like who, what, why, where, when, and how. To give you examples, here's some things from the topic of ludology, that is, the study of game making. So, topic is ludology. Ludology, the study of games, is a popular and important concept in the design of video games. Who, what, why, where, when? Well, who studies ludology? That could be a major supporting detail. What are some rules in ludology? Every field of study has certain rules and you have to follow them, otherwise you're doing a different type of science. Why is ludology important? When did the study of games begin? And where do people study ludology? And finally, how does ludology make a great video game? So here's some examples of my thesis, which hasn't changed. And here are some major supporting details. Now are they answering a who question, a what question, a why question, or a when question? Well. Ludology became a popular field of study in the late 20th century. Who, what, why? That one answers a when question. Ludology remains important part of anthropology and the humanities. What? Well, those are two big subjects that you study when you go to college. So that probably answers a who question. Who studies ludology? However, the entertainment industry depends on ludology for the next great game. So the entertainment industry is made up of people. This again answers a who question. Who studies ludology? Another example. In the 1900s, anthropologists studied and cataloged the games of Native Americans. Well, that's interesting because it's kind of answering two questions, isn't it? It's answering a who question but also a when question. In the 1980s, the world saw the explosion of video game development. Okay, That major supporting detail just answers a when. Dr. Consalvo was one of the first to study them from an academic perspective. Well, that one should be really obvious. That answers a who question.